Hello everyone, I am Ashish Shukla from product management team and working in meter solutions and related applications. Today, I will show you how to do the configuration of service order management operational and trends dashboard. So, these are the various key sections or areas of service order management dashboards for which we need to configure it properly before initiating any batch or any project implementation. Okay, let's go to the individual section where we can also see the details of various configurations of components for those individual section in the application. So first is activity type which defines the main attributes of any particular activity type. So let's go to the application, go to the admin menu, communication and then click on activity type. Okay, so we need to configure one activity specific for statistics aggregator creator which will also trigger or perform dimension scanning. So here there is a major components for this activity type are activity type status then create aggregators for field activity statistics, create aggregators for command activity statistics then service provider you need to configure it then exception handling then activity type category that is dimension scanner and these are the BO. So these are the major components for that particular activity type. Now let's move to the another component. The another configuration or section is measuring component type which defines the important properties of a measuring component. So let's move to the application again. Go to the admin menu, device, measuring component type. So here there are the four aggregators MC types specific for electric service type. The important point here is that you need to create or configure aggregator MC types for each service type. For an example, if any utility supports electric as well as gas services, then they must create aggregator MC types for electric as well as gas individually. So total aggregator MC types in this case are 8. So right now we have just support electric, so we are just creating 4 aggregator MC types. Let's go to one by one and see the major components of those MC types. So here are the major components for measuring component types like service type that is electric then interval size it's a consumptive and these are the value identifiers which you need to configure it like measurements then average completion time that is unit of measure counts then value 1 which is completed within tolerance count as a unit of measure so these are the value identifiers we need to configure it and the major key components of that particular measuring component types are aggregation horizon, aggregation lag and aggregation cutoff time which you need to define it as per your business requirements. Okay, let's go to the another aggregator measuring component type. The second one is the activity processing acclimation aggregator. So these are the major key parameters of that MC type, service type, electric, consumptive. Then these are the value identifiers which you need to configure it. Then display configurations. Okay, and one more important thing is that there are two types of aggregators MC types which derive the activity statistics for displaying service order management operational and trend dashboard. So one is the master aggregator type and another one is a sub aggregator MC type. Okay. So master aggregator types drives the aggregation of its sub aggregators and also coordinated to cover the same periods activity data. So this is a master aggregator type and they have a sub aggregator MC types included in this one. Let's go to the third one. This is activity processing derived snapshot ag aggregator. So this is a type of sub aggregator type 
and these are the major key parameters for that particular MC type like service type electric consumptive and these are the value identifiers you need to configure it these are the display configurations and again this is the important one aggregation origin aggregation lag and aggregation cutoff time which you need to define it as per your business requirements and the last one is activity processing snapshot aggregator this is also a sub aggregator type and these are the major key parameters or components for that particular MC type again the value identifiers you need to configure it these are the display configurations and again this is the aggregation origin aggregation lag and aggregation cutoff time which you need to define it okay uh, now let's again move to the deck to see the next key components or key configuration area that is a master configuration so which enables an implementation to uh, define configurations for features in the system so let's move to the application again and see the master configuration go to the admin menu general and then master configurations and go to the service order management master configuration so here are the major components for SOM management master configuration they have the separate section for dashboard configuration and these are the major parameters or components for those dashboards like number of days to consider for snapshot then weekends and holidays including activity duration default expected activity completion times then summary to do types then hours beyond expected activity completion time which you need to configure it as per your business requirements so there's a important section that is nothing but your batch control where you need to configure it this batch control and that batch is very important that is a d1 act ag that is nothing but your activity statistics aggregation monitor batch and this is the main batch which will refresh your dashboard data this is your chart options like processing statistics you need to configure it then activity types you need to configure it based on the activity type and then whatever the color you need to put it you can configure it aging statistics then field task types so again the field task types is mainly your as per your business requirements so whatever the field task types you have in your business requirement you can configure it accordingly and you can provide the colors or you can configure the colors accordingly so these are the to do days old threshold where you can provide the color that up to what days old you need to mention it so uh, I think that this is all about the configuration requirements of SOM dashboards so now let's do the demonstration to perform or run SOM operational and trans dashboard so for this first we need to manually create the activity for each aggregator MC types which we configured for each service type so as you know we created four aggregator MC types for electric services so we need to create the activity four times so just go to the main menu communication activity and then click on add and please note that you don't need to create the manual activity every time so this is a manual process which we are doing but you don't require to create this manual activity every time this is just a one-time manual activity creation for each aggregator MC type which we have configured it so this is the activity type which we have created or configured so next time when you refresh the SOM operational and trend dashboards you just need to run the batches you don't need to run or create those activity this is only a one-time activity and this is a very important point so please note down this one so first one is the activity aging snapshot aggregator service type is E that is electric and then click on save <coughs> So 
uh, even I already did it one earlier as part of my preparation of this demo but uh, just want to give you the demonstration I am doing this step one more time okay so here uh, there is a scan button so so if you want you can click manually but in real time project implementation there is a separate batch called D1 ADS to scan or to create aggregator MCs or measuring components which record the statistics like command activities field activities request orchestration so in short basically scanning activities create aggregator MCs or measuring components for each measuring component type for each dimension like field activity type command activity type request orchestration type so user has an option either to manually click the scan button or schedule D1 ADS batch to scan the activity. So right now uh, I am just clicking the scan button manually to save the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, now again we need to create the activity for second measuring component type. Then select the second one, service type is E and then click on save. Again I am just manually click the scan button but uh, this is the same functionality uh, if you can run the batch D1 ADS that will do the same activity what we are clicking the scan button. Then let's go for the third measuring component type, aggregator measuring component type. Select the activity type which we have created. Select the activity processing derived snapshot aggregator. Service type is electric and then click on save. and then click on scan manually then just go for the last one select the activity type then select the fourth one activity processing snapshot aggregator the service type is electric and then click on save and then again I am just clicking the manual scan button so next time when you refresh the service order management operational and trans dashboard you just need to run the batches you don't require to do the manual activities and all yeah so So now next step is to run the batch D1 ACTAG. Okay. So we are just going to the dashboard, service order operation dashboard. So that D1 ACTAG batch is nothing but your activity statistics aggregation monitor. Okay. But again, the interesting thing is that this update statistics button also triggers the same batch that is nothing but your D1 ACTAG. So again, users have a privileges, either they can schedule the batch that is D1 ACTAG or manually run the batch by clicking update statistics button. So if you click this button, it will also trigger the same batch control or it will also redirect the same batch control that is D1 ACTAG. So here you can see the last refresh is 27th of August 2021. Okay, so uh, I'm just clicking the update statistics or I'm doing the manual one. Uh, but again, uh, you can uh, update the SOM and operational trends dashboard by by running the batch. So as per the real time projects, you don't need to run the manual clicks. You just need to schedule the batches that is D1 ADS batch, which is nothing but it will perform the scanning, which I have done the manually and for update the statistics or update the service order operational and trend dashboard. You need to run the D1 ACT AG batch, which is similar like 
clicking the manual button of update statistics okay so i'm just clicking the update statistics button rather than to run the batch and further uh, enhancing your information this batch will run twice automatically with two different bo's or business objects as a parameter value one is the d1 activity aging snap aggregator and another parameter value is d1 activity pros aggregator so so finally you can see the two times that particular batch will run okay and it will perform automatically so here you will see the last refresh is changed now it's 31st of august 2021 so it will take some time for completion of the batches right now still it is in, in progress if you will see right now it's in progress and records are processed 82 it increasing the numbers every time when we refresh it so because this is a demo environment so might be the speed is a bit slow but if you will see that records are increasing means records are processed now let's see the status is complete now and the total records process is 118 because uh, and finally you can see the updated and service order management operational trends dashboard with latest or refresh data here you might not get the updated or latest data because uh, i am using demo environment and here it's limited data only reload uh, but in actual or in in actual production or in real time environment you can see the different or updated dashboards or trends with latest data okay if you will go to the trends dashboard So here also you will see the last refresh date is 31st of August 2021 and the process the batch process is completed in its status and records process 118 because of demo environment we have a very limited data so might be you are not able to see the entire data but yeah in the real time and real production you will find the the refresh data or the latest data in your dashboards so i guess this ends up this exercise i hope you um, got the clarity how to configure the service order operational dashboards and trends dashboard this ends up this exercise uh, thank you very much